First tonight, local breaking news alert. Four people are wounded, one teen killed in a shooting. Cincinnati's police chief says is gang related. The scene was chaotic when police arrived. Victims were found at Taft in Essex, as well as Redding in Minnesota and Avondale. Local 12 News reporter Anjanette Levy is live with the latest on this investigation. Anjanette. Well, Curtis, we can tell you that police have three people in custody right now that they are questioning. None of them have been charged criminally. We're here at the corner of Taft and Essex. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see what the scene looks like behind me. The road here, Taft, is actually closed at this point, as is the exit ramp from I-71 to Taft. It's also shut down as police investigate here, and it probably will be for several hours. Now, this all started around 3 o'clock this afternoon when four young men were shot here at this intersection. Three of the young men's injuries are not considered life-threatening. Some people in this area were understandably distraught when they saw what had happened. We spoke with Chief Jeffrey Blackwell, Cincinnati Police Chief Jeffrey Blackwell, just a short time ago, and he says that this type of violence will not be tolerated. We're going to know, but we do know that it involved a lot of young people against a, another group of young people in a senseless murder, um, and it could have jeopardized literally dozens, if not hundreds, of innocent people at this very busy intersection virtually on the footsteps of downtown Cincinnati. Now back out live, uh, as we mentioned, police will be here likely for several hours collecting evidence. We don't know at this point if the shooter is actually in custody and obviously police are looking for more people. This is a very active investigation and it's very early on in this investigation. The chief also told us that he believes that this stems from an, ev an incident in Evanston involving some teenagers and some young people a couple of weeks ago. Guns were involved in that incident, but we're told no shots were fired. We'll, of course, stay on this story throughout the evening and bring you the very latest information as soon as we get it. For now, reporting live in Walnut Hills, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Curtis? Anjanette, thank you.